Hi, this is a Swede Speaks, and today is February 3rd, 2017. Uh, the Prime Minister of Sweden said to Swedish radio today concerning the, the migrant stream, the so called refugee crisis over the, over the, the Mediterranean Sea from Libya to Italy and then further into the Euro European Union. Uh, he said, we have unscrupulous traffickers who send out people in lousy ships and then they die. It has to stop. A country is also ob obliged to have control of their borders and Libya does not have that. He also spoke about strengthening the Libyan Coast Guard and although he said that uh, the European Union will not make an agreement with Libya like the one they made with Turkey, where the EU is paying Turkey to keep migrants out from the EU. And this has made, this has made it possible for Turkey to blackmail the European Union by saying, we want your money, give us more money, if you don't give us more money, we'll open, our, we'll open the borders to you again. And let them into Europe. Anyway, this is the same Mr. Levin, the Prime Minister of Sweden, who said a year ago or something like that, at a meeting or at a rally in Stockholm, he said that his Europe has no borders. And now he's saying that uh, we need to stop people from coming from Li through Libya and the Mediterranean to Europe. Not a surprise, or well, actually, I am not surprised, not at all. I believe that reality must have bit him. Because uh, Sweden and Germany told people to come to Europe and, and then they came. Ah, strange. Who would have thought? I also noticed that uh, now it seems like uh, Mr. Levin finally agrees with Donald Trump, who wrote on Twitter on July 28, 2015, he wrote, A nation without borders is not, is not a nation at all. Um, and he was right. And he is right. And right now Mr. Levin, Levin is in the right too. However, I think... He says this, says this because he has to, not because he is very fond of saying this, because it doesn't sound nice. But the cost of, his, of these policies are getting too high. And I have been saying for a long time now that the European Union or the European countries should do what Australia did. Australia stopped the migrant stream from coming, from coming to Australia. Because they sent out their navy to make sure they didn't reach Australia. And okay, at first it looked bad. And uh, the left was crying out that this was inhumane. But what happened when, peop when people realized they couldn't come to Australia that way? They stopped trying. And I bet that saved lots of lives. And it will save lots of life if, if the European countries make sure that people aren't coming this way either. Uh, I also noticed that, uh, although not exactly related to this, but still somehow related, Bernie Sanders said in an interview that uh, he thinks that open borders is a bad idea. That uh, no nation state uh, can have open borders, whether it's the US, the UK, or Denmark, or whatever. And I will put a link in the box below to that interview, and I will put a link to the article on Mr. Levin. Uh, but I also have to say this Europe and the West, it is not. It is not our fault that everything is wrong in the world. 
And the Western civilization is the best one ever created by man. And that is clearly because of our Judeo-Christian heritage. The heritage from, from Jerusalem, from Athens, and from Rome. There really can't be any other reason. But still, yes, we have made some stupid things. One really stupid thing was the step was when uh, when the West destabilized Libya, when uh, the U.S. under the Obama administration started the war on Gaddafi, when the U.S., France, U.K., even Sweden and Norway participated. Officially, Sweden didn't participate, but hey, Sweden sent some planes to help them out, and the Norwegian government was officially in this war, and they started it by by text message between the Prime Minister Jan Stoltenberg, who by the way now is the Secretary General of NATO and uh, members of his cabinet. Crazy stuff. So, I mean, yeah, Gaddafi was not a saint. Leaders seldom are. But what happened after he deposed him? Did anyone really think that they would have an easy transit to 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 western style democracy the people who think these things are utopian and naive and i don't have words for the stupidity of that and if you study history if you look at what happens in the world around you and shouldn't leaders do that maybe the problem is that a lot of the leaders of the baby boomer generation weren't leaders at all. They were just politicians who liked to get themselves rich and uh, call the shots. But they weren't leaders. They weren't statesmen. Ronald Reagan was a statesman. Margaret Thatcher was a statesman or a stateswoman. But after them, there hasn't been very, very many of them. Maybe Donald Trump will turn out to be a statesman. We'll see. Anyway. I agree with uh, this with this from the Swedish uh, prime minister. I just had to call out that this is hypocrisy. And also, there has been one party in Sweden who has said things that the Swedish has been saying that the Swedish migrant policies have been naive, stupid, crazy, and created a situation in Sweden which really is uh, destructive and that is the Sweden Democrats and uh, all the other parties have been saying no 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 we don't agree with those those racists now some of the parties in Sweden are starting to sound a little like the Sweden Democrats but they still refuse to say that they were wrong and uh, that makes yeah i still don't i i, I can't trust them but uh, but if you manage to stop that migrant stream over the mediterranean good for you good for us good for sweden good for norway that would be great because uh, it's much better to help people where they are real refugees of course must be helped if possible where they are or close or in some or in some neighboring countries if that isn't possible okay we, we can take them in but we can't we can't have this mass migration it it doesn't work it doesn't work financially this doesn't work culturally it just creates a lot of problems a lot of conflicts and seriously we don't want that and uh, if you like this channel, uh, please like and share this video or some other of my videos. And uh, you can support this channel through Patreon. If you got a dollar, if you got a million dollars, whatever, just send it to me. That would be nice. But uh, most important, like and share. And a dollar would be nice. This is a sweet speaks. Have a nice day.